What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. Happy Easter to everybody who celebrates the holiday. And if you're here not celebrating the holiday, hopefully you're having a good day too. And if you're here watching it after the holidays, hopefully you did have good holidays and are having an amazing day today. But we are back here playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Hop back onto that Series 3 ladder, but this time we are rocking out with King Gambit. King Gambit was obviously dominating in Series 1 and in Series 2, and we haven't seen it too much in Series 3. So this is going to be my first time showcasing this Pokemon in Series 3. We got it paired up with Ting Lu. We got Palafin, Arcanine, Fluttermane, and Amoongus. This one should be fun. Hopefully, we can grab some wins on this wonderful holiday. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Join the community. Seriously, support has been going crazy. Cannot wait to hit the milestone of 20,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. But... We got Palafin to get us started here with today's team preview. Palafin, one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. The thing is absolutely adorable. I gotta get a Palafin plush. I just got a Snorlax plush for my birthday a couple weeks ago. And yeah, I definitely want a Palafin one once they come out. It's got Zero to Hero as its ability, Mystic Water as item, Rock and Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Haze, and Protect. Fluttermane is going to be our second Pokemon. This Paradox Pokemon is still tearing it up in Series 3, considering all the legendaries are Dark type. It's got Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Moon Blast, and Protect, and then rocking that Booster Energy as its item. Arcanine is going to be on this team, and I feel like every Ting Lu, Ting Lu team has Arcanine. It just works so well because Ting Lu can uh, drop that special attack, and then Arcanine can drop that physical attack, so you get the best of both worlds with both of them on the team. Arcanine has Intimidate, the Safety Goggles, Foyer Blitz, How to Boost Attack, and then you've got Will-O-Wiz for Burns and E Speed for first turn priority. Loving that moveset, especially with How, could be pretty useful for us. We got Ting Lu for our fourth Pokemon. Ting Lu has that Vessels of Ruin as its ability. And like I mentioned already, it lowers the special attack of Pokemon on the field. And this one is rocking Stomping Tantrum, Ruination, Heavy Slam, and EQ. I really wanted to have Fisher because I would have loved to land some for you guys today. But I like this moveset. I think it's going to be pretty strong for him. Amoongus is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Need a little bit of support Pokemon. And Amoongus does a job with the Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet. Rocking Spore, Rage Powder, Palm Puff, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the start of the show. It is going to be my boy, King Gambit. Like I said, haven't used him in Series 3, but I feel like he's definitely going to be very strong. He's got Defiant, the Black Glasses, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, Swords Dance, which I have never used on a King Gambit, and then Protect. So I feel like if we can set up Swords Dance with this, po with this Pokemon, we're just going to be able to dominate with it, right? Sucker Punch first turn priority, pretty much can KO anybody when it's plus 2. And his Terror type is Dark. Come on, man. That damage boost is insane. Guys, if you want to rent the scene for yourself, Rent's code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Ting Lu King Gambit team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a top 500 opponent. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win here, but this one seems like it's going to be tough. We both have a Ting Lu team, which is going to be pretty fun, but they also have Don Dozo and Tasugiri. So, Palafin is going to be really nice just so I can haze it. So, I definitely want to bring in those Pokemon. I mean, they have Palmot. Palmot could be a little tough here, but I'm going to bring Palafin here, lead it, and just try to like hard swap it right off the rip. I don't think you have flip turn, right? I think you just made the hard swap, right? Yeah, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze, Protect. I'm down for that. So I'm going to go into you, and if you're going to go Palma, I might go in with a Pokemon like Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane could be really, really good here. I, I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with you. So I'm going to go in with Fluttermane. Arcanine could be solid here as well, considering uh, the Intimidate drop. But I, this is the time where I really wish I had Fisher, right? With Ting Lu. Up against a Don Dozo, I would love to rip into it. But I'm going to go into you. I'm going to also go King Gambit. We're just not going to bring the Arcanine here, right? I'm cool with that. I have Define on my... Uh, on my King Gambit, so if they want to pull the Arcanine out while we're out there, that could be beneficial for us. So, that's going to be our lead. We're going to need something to KO the Don Dozo, and it's going to either be my my Gambit or my Fluttermane, right? They're like the only two that can really finish it off, but Palafin's going to be there for the Haze, just in case. So, I'm going to end up leading Palafin. I could definitely see, I was going to say, I could definitely see Palma coming out here, but I'm totally cool with this lead. I really don't mind it. I really do not mind this lead. So Arcanine's gonna do that. He might even snarl this next turn, which I think is gonna happen. He might even protect Ting Lu. Special attack is down. He's probably not gonna protect Ting Lu. But out comes my booster energy, which I really, really like. And I'm gonna just hard swap Palafin into. Do I go Gambit? No, right? I don't go Gambit. I go probably Ting Lu here, right? Because then I can just throw EQs and stuff. I'm with it. So I'm gonna go into Ting Lu here. And then on top of this, I could Terrasilize, but I would be straight fairy at this point. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of just throwing a Moon Blast into this thing. Just going Moon Blast for days. So, yeah, I'm going to pop the Moon Blast. I'm going to see how much damage I can do to this Ting Lu. And just try to get rid of it. 
So if Palafin with the hard swap, we will save it for later. If they don't have uh, Dantozo, that actually works good for us because then I got my boy Palafin who can absolutely rip out there. And now I bring out the Ting Lu. So Ting Lu out about only the really only only the only Pokemon that Ting Lu is really affecting right now is my friend, which kind of sucks. But we end up seeing a Terrasalization from here, probably a Poison type. Yeah, smart play by him. So he, he ends up using his Terrasalization, but now EQs are super effective on the both, which is huge, which I really really like. Moonblast flies. Hopefully you're not burning my Ting Lu, right? That'd be a problem. That would be a problem. But we get the special attack chop. He's physical, and a Will O' Wisp comes out here, and Ting Lu dodges it. Whew. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Heavy Slam flying, and yeah, we just get peace up there. So I feel like from here, we just bring out Palafin, right? I feel like it, we just, it's just free Palafin time, right? And we force him to swap back out his Arcanine, and then we have Defiant for later. So yeah, Palafin's back out here. I can see him hard swapping here. We could go for Jet Punch. I think Jet Punch is our play. And then we just Stomping Tantrum this slot, right? I could Ruination it. What do we think does more damage? This would cut it in half, but this is super effective. But his defense is very bulky for some reason. You know, we're just gonna go into this. We're just gonna go into the stopping tantrum. I'm gonna throw a jet punch into the slot. We're gonna roll after it. So there's the withdrawal. He going into Don Dozo Tatsugiri. Possibly, right? There's Don Dozo. So yeah, we have to we have to get my hazes off, right? Haze is our play. You have to get hazing. And are you gonna double swap here? I have haze ready to go. And this is where we just ruination next turn. Yeah, so he gets out the Tatsugiri. I'm just gonna haze next turn. And I guess I'll go for the ruination, right? I could end up terrestrializing the Ting Lu here as well. Which I mean wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad. But yeah, 100 percent we got a haze. I could protect this turn too. Actually, I don't have protect on my uh on my Ting Lu. If I end up launching a jet punch into that thing, he soaks up all day. And this is a time where I wish I had Fisher. Just to drop it into the same KO at one shot, no problem. Okay. I can deal with that. So he's back up pretty much full HP, right? Jet Punch did like no damage. Almost full HP. He has a little bit left. But from here, this is where we ruination half its HP and we haze across the board. Uh, actually, do I terrestrialize you into grass? I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to terrestrialize into grass here. Just so if he goes for a wave crash or something, it's just not straight up KO in me. So yeah, we're going to haze on top of that. Take away all the stat changes and just go from there. This is exactly why I brought Palpin. But we do not have our our boy anymore. We do not have our Flutterbeam, which kind of sucks. But I feel like if we can just get rid of this Don Dozo while keeping both these Pokemon, we should be sitting in a decent spot. So Don Dozo goes for... Yo! Don Dozo goes for Fisher. Get out of my face with that. Get, get out of my face with that. You go for Fisher? That's crazy right there. That is crazy. Ruination comes out here, and we get the, we're able to half its HP, which is big time. So we have to sing to HP. That was just ridiculous. That thing, this thing is going for Fishers. And he's going to land one. I know he's going to land one very soon. I know he's going to land one very, very soon. And from here, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to go for Stomping Tantrum here. And I guess I'll just go for a Jet Punch. Could go for a Wave Crash. I'm going to go for a Wave Crash. I don't think he lands a Fisher. I really don't see that happening. I know he's going to go for it. We go for the wave crash here. Chipping up some nice damage. Can Stomping Tantrum KO? We might not be able to outspeed. Told you. I told you. He's outlaid another Fisher. Get that out of here. You ain't like that. You are not like that. Stomping Tantrum. I was going to say, please don't KO. Because then uh, next turn we can KO the Don Dozo and then get a shot on Tatsugiri. But now I think he just goes straight into Arcanine. I do think he goes into Arcanine. Yeah, and he wants to attack drop. And I feel like from here, we just... Hmm. Do I hard swap my Palafin? Do I hard swap the Palafin? I feel like hard swapping the Palafin could be good here. But I'm just going to go into a stopping tantrum. And I could jet punch you. Hmm. I think I just jet punch this thing. I could honestly just protect here. I'm going to protect and see how he plays it. I'm gonna see how he plays this, because he might end up withdrawing the Arcanine. Just for an intimidate drops. No, Arcanine just protects. That's fine. That is fine. And what are you going for, little Tatsugiri? Kinda scared of that thing a little bit. This is a solid battle. He goes for the icy one. So he wants a speed drop. That's fine. Ting Lu's already slow enough. And Ting Lu has a soul vest and the, the abilities out. So he's able to soak really well. It's a crit. How dare you get a crit? 
How dare you go to crit? Really don't want to swap just yet. I really do not want to swap just yet. I don't know. I could haze and just take off the attack drops. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because if he swaps Arcanine, we just haze and get rid of the attack drops. I'm cool with that. I right, ends up withdrawing Tatsugiri. That's fine. So he wants to reset his choice scarf. He's probably just going to Flare Blitz into me here. And I think we should be able to eat up Flare Blitz. But hazing is going to be good for us. Definitely it's going to be good for us. Flare Blitz comes out here. How much damage are you doing? Are you KOing me? Told you. We can soak it up. I told you. All day. So he takes some mean recoil damage here. We end up hazing. Cool. Attack drop. Gone. And he swapped into that Pokemon, which uh, I can deal with that. Stompy Catcher flies out here. Built, built, built. Arcanine, gone. So we get rid of the Arcanine finally. Um, Tinglu's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Tinglu's kind of annoying. Tinglu is kind of annoying. Who do we focus down onto here? I mean, you have the Tatsugiri. We have the Dark type. And we only have Dark type moves, which kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, but... I have the black glasses. I would love to set up a Swords Dance. Swords Dance would be solid. But our problem here is Ting Lu is going to be super effective onto us. So I'm going to try to just go after Ting Lu. I'm just going to go after Ting Lu. I need, I need to get rid of this thing. I know my uh, I know my Gambit can 1v1 to Tatsugiri. So Ting Lu is going to be the problem. Tatsugiri goes for the Draco Meter into Ting Lu, which is kind of weird, right? That's really weird. Drops a special attack for only 45 damage. So I'm surprised he didn't drop the Draco Meter into the Palafin. This is a really good battle. What a way to start off. Let's start off the holidays, you know? Wave crash flying out here. How much damage are we doing here? Oh no! One HP? Go for Ruination. He lands a Fisher. How dare you? How dare you? It's absurd! <laughs> it's absurd. How dare you? Land a Fisher. And of course you land, you live on one HP. The soul is hurting. Alright. So Gambi Gambo is coming out here, and I feel like we kind of just count out Cleave into into Tatsu. But I feel like Ting Lu's got to protect, right? Didn't he protect earlier in the match? Because I would love to just count out Cleave and have this thing protect, and then sucker punch into it next turn. Nope, Tatsu Gary lands another Draco Meter. We're able to soak really well here. I swear, if you land a Fisher, count out Cleave comes out here. We should just sucker punch that thing. We take out you. All we need to do is eat up a shot. And I feel like he, he, he goes for a Fisher, right? Top attention. You should be able to eat this. Gotcha. Cool. GG's. Game, set, match. Get on out of my face. So we make the right call there. The only way we would have lost is if he went for a Fisher. But I just, was just going after the, uh, the Tatsugiri just in case he protected. it. So I feel like that was a good call. But if he would have went for a Fisher and landed it, it would have been a terrible call. But the odds of that happening back to back, not happening. Except for in that one video a couple days ago when it did happen. But we sucker punch, we take out Ting Lu. What a match to start off today's video. Drawn out, very good on both sides, but your boy ends up picking up that dub. Second match coming at you guys. Let's keep buzzing here. And it looks like we're going up against a top tier Series 2 team. Kind of scared of it, not going to lie. I mean, they got the... The Indeedy Armourge combo, which is terrifying. It really is. But we have two Dark type Pokemon that can really counter. We got the Ting Lu and we got the what is that pokemon called the king gambit could not think of it they also have the flutter main great tusk deadly deadly bird and dragonite which i don't really see us seeing dragonite i feel like from here we can just go into these two i think it's a pretty simple lead and pretty strong lead at the same time bring flutter main in the back end and then i really like amoongus here if they want to pop trick room. plus amoongus with support gonna be great for us so let's lock it in let's lock it down it's time to win our second match and go back to back and guarantee yourselves a winning record which would be awesome is that first battle it was beautiful it was it was the definition of a good pokemon battle right i mean we have some quick battles we have some dominating battles but that battle was just great on both ends coming down to the wire it really did come down to the wire it came down to one turn i can't believe they land that fisher i mean it was it was bound to happen the odds actually were like perfect there one for three is about the odds that a fisher lands 30 percent so it's a, it's a little bit under one for three but still I, I thought I thought that that showcased the odds pretty good because he missed two earlier with Don Dozo. He missed two with Don Dozo, but two Pokemon Rock and Fisher, very weird, definitely very weird. But yeah, I'll take I'll take one for three. I I can deal with that RNG right there. That's where it's not OP. Like when you get hit by like back to back or one out of one Fisher, like oh come on man, this is just terrible. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I can deal with that. 
So, 1 0. Let's do it. Let's see who they end up leading. I'm kind of hoping NDD Armors. That's why I led both Dark type Pokemon. They can't get hit by Psychic, and then I would probably just end up terrestrializing the the Armors. But we have the uh, the ability with Tinglu, which drops a special attack. So let's see. Ends up going Bundle and NDD, which uh, again, I'm very cool with. That's fine. Two special attackers. I think right now we can set up a Sword Dance potentially, right? Ooh, Sword Dance sounds lovely. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Nice, lovely Sword Dance here. We can't Sucker Punch, that does suck. We simply cannot Sucker Punch, so... Do I protect here? I mean, Special Attack is down. He ends up going for the Psychic Seeds. Uh... Hmm. What do I want to do here? I really want to go for the Sword Dance, to be honest with you guys. I could go for the Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam, EQ, Stomping Tantrum. Ruination. What do I want to go for? I mean, you outweigh this thing like crazy, right? I'm just going to go into this, and I'm just going to go for Swords Dance. Indeed, he might even protect. Oh, low battery? Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. He goes for a helping eel. Chill on me. Go after my Ting Lu, please, with the Hydro Pump. Goes for a Freeze Run. You should be able to soak that up. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, your helping hand was useless. Oh, never mind. It gets a freeze. But low battery, back to what I was saying. We keep it on me. My charger's always there. And of course, my Ting Lu is frozen solid. That is just a terrible sight right there. And now he Swords Dance. Why, why you gotta get a freeze like that? Why you gotta do me like that? So now we're Swords Dance. And from here, I'm just gonna go for the Heavy Slam. And I'm just gonna Kaltak cleave this thing down. I'm saying see you later in DD. I'm not dealing with it. Helping hand again. Probably going for another freeze try, right? Or are you going after my, my Gambo? You are going after my Gambo. Good thing the ability's out. I think Lou is still frozen solid. That's just atrocious. Hate this game. And Kaltak cleave's gonna say bye bye to Indeed. Dude, if I had first turn priority here, oh my lord. Or if my Pokemon just didn't get frozen, we'd be sitting super, super well here. Super, super well. But he ends up being frozen solid. That's just big time. Especially for two turns, that, that sucks. Because I would love to hit it in at least half its health here. So he goes into this little Pokemon. And I feel like from here, we just EQ and we protect, right? We EQ and we protect. We might want to save our Gambit for later. Gambit could be very, very good for later. Once the terrain ends, Sucker Punch is coming in hot. I can get down with that. So we end up protecting. Hydro Pump's going to come in here. We block it up. Oh, no. You go after Ting Lu. That's fine. And the Armor Cannon goes after you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we didn't Terrasalize. We got a free EQ coming in here. If I wasn't still frozen, three turns? Three. Not one, not two, but three turns? Get out of my face. So from here, I can pop another EQ. I mean, Armor Cannon's gonna do some big damage to us. Uh, I think we might just wanna let the King Gambo go down. Or we just go into Flutter Man here, right? Ah, how many turns left in this terrain? How many turns left in this terrain? Kinda need this terrain to end. Okay, two. I think we just sacrificed the... I think we just sacrificed the Moongus here, right? I don't mind it. They go for an armor cannon, I'll sacrifice the moves all day. I just need to waste out this train. Then I can start piecing up with sucker punches. This is just terrible, man. Three turns? Like, your deli bird should be dead. Here comes the hydro pump. Probably KO on me, right? No, you're soaking. Awesome, dude. You going for another armor cannon? You are. I don't care if you go down. And plus, I think a Moongus might even soak this up. He does. Let's go. Thank you, ability. So now your defense is down. I'm actually, if I unfreeze, I might kill my Moongus. What? What is this? Four? Bro. Bro. Stop it. Not, not get off. Knock it off, man. Um, I'm showing rage powder here. Again, I gotta let a Moogus go now. What is this? Simply, what is this? I must ask, what is this game? What is this game? What is this game? We got, we got my boy out here in the Ice Age. Can you eat this? You might be able to. No, you don't. Of course not. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Just what I wanted. You to be frozen for four turns. Dude's in the Ice Age over here. Negative 50,000 degrees out. You cannot thaw out. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. But... I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't. 
I really do not think we're sitting in a terrible spot. Uh, he could tear it in the grass, which could be bad. Could definitely be very, very bad for us. But I feel like we just shadow ball into that slot, right? I feel like we just shadow ball into that slot. We might want to suck much. Actually, I'm just going to protect Gambit this turn. I'm going to protect Gambit this turn. I'm going to go after armors. Yeah, I'm going to go after armors here. Oh my lord, oh my god, this game, man. This game, don't be dirty. It's doing me so bad. It's doing me so bad. Delibird might even protect here. I can see Delibird protecting him going for an armor cannon, but that's not happening. I end up protecting the Gambo. A wide guard comes out here. We're not gleaming. Thanks for wasting a turn. And Delibird, go after my Gambo. Let's go. We're here. I'm here. You can freeze me for four turns. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. The wide guard thinking I'm gleaming. Nah, son. We're going straight for you. Straight like that. Straight like that. Get on out of here, Armors. All right. So now we're sitting here. Sucker Punch is definitely coming hot for my for my boy right here. I might even Terrasalize and hope this Pokemon's not Sash. And I don't think it's Sash. I think it's Booster Energy. And out comes the fan of Don, of Don's. So from here, I'm Terrasalizing you. I'm doing this. I'm going for Sucker Punch. We need to get rid of Deli Deli Bird. And then we just start launching Moon Blast in this slot, right? I know he's going to Terrasalize that Pokemon, but still. It's time to go. He might even Terrasalize EQ, which could be terrible for us. But we'll deal with it. Dude, if I, if I was frozen only two turns, even like two turns is long for freeze. If I was frozen for two turns, we would have won this match, no problem. But now we had to make a good protectory, go into Shadow Ball, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. And now we're sitting here in a tough spot. Made it a lot closer than it should have been, but I'm hoping we can grab ourselves this win here because this would be a sick win. So they end up terrestrializing. That's got to be the Donnie Don fan, right? And all I'm hoping for is no Protect EQ, right? It's a ground Donnie Don fan. EQ's going to do some big damage, some scary damage. We're just hoping no Protect comes out here from, from Deli Deli Bird. Because this Sucker Punch should, I'm thinking should be able to KO, right? They come out straight dark. God dang, freeze, man. Four turns on a freeze try. No protect from Deli Deli Bird. Cool. But I think this should KO, right? Deli Bird's not that high on defense. Oh, and it doesn't. It hurts soul. And a Hydro Pump flies here, so that's going to KO you. That's going to KO you. Ooh, my heart, my soul, hurting. Hurting there. Mm. Let's see how this one plays out here. Moonblast going to fly here. Of course, you live on your sash. And all I need to do is live a gleam. Or land a gleam now. But he's going to put me down with EQ. We're actually going to take out. Actually, we should eat up this EQ. I don't think we are going to, though. GG's. Good game. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Yo, get this, guys. Imagine. Imagine freezing your opponent for four turns and losing. Imagine that. Imagine that. I'm just the best. I'm just the greatest to ever do it. Just the greatest. Just the greatest. Not saying that's true, but I'm the man. I'm the man for winning this match. What a match here in match number two. Losing my Ting Lu to four turns, making a crazy comeback, and winning that match. We're 2 0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Final match is coming at you guys. And this one's a little bit of a tougher one, right? Shen, Pallet, Dragonite, insanely strong. They also have Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, which makes me want to bring the Palafin again, considering how good it was in that uh in that first match. So Palafin, you're gonna come out of here. Plus, I really like Palafin, especially if we can get rid of the Don Dozo. Right? Everything except for the Don Dozo, really, Palafin can get some work done on. But I'm gonna go Palafin. I might lead the Arcanine, right? Arcanine's just not a bad lead here. He's just not a bad lead. So I like Arcanine, I like Palafin here. Um, if they go a little more of Fluttermane, I mean, we have the Palafin to get some work done. We can just start Flare Blitz and throwing burns, but I like Arcanine here. I do like Arcanine. I also like Ting Lu, and then last but not least, do I go Gambo or Fluttermane? It's one or the other here. Gambo or Fluttermane? And I'm kind of, actually, they're both really good. Fluttermane does get hit by E-Speeds. You take, like, no damage to E-Speeds. Um, Fluttermane's going to be super effective onto a few, and Speed's high. But Gambo, first turn priority... He's the man. Gambo is the man. But I think I have to go Fluttermane here. I think I have to go Fluttermane. Kind of hurts my soul to say that because I love, I love, love me some, uh, some King Gambit action. But, mm, mm. Gotta, gotta choose the Fluttermane. I gotta choose Fluttermane because I'm looking for a perfect record. I really want to win this battle. It's the holidays. 
you know, I, I, I like to win on the holidays. <laughs> and end my recording session on a winning note. Go out, eat a bunch of food, eat some candy on Easter. I did get some, my, my mom gets some candy for every Easter. I got, I, I don't, I know a lot of people don't really like them, but I love the wax bottles. My mom got me the wax bottles. They're incredible to me. I just like, I just like to chew on the wax, really. I have like a, a fidgety thing with chewing on stuff, so I chew on gum all the time. But wax bottles, real deal for me. And I got high chews. You guys do not like high chews. Get on out of here. Yo, high chews are phenomenal. They're insane. And then I also got some little chocolate turtles. Real deal. Real deal right there. But yeah, Easter's just awesome. And then a top tier cane that's on my kitchen table. The Reese eggs, bro. Do not sleep on the Reese eggs. Ten times better than regular Easter uh, Reese's in my opinion. They're just delicious. But Shen Pao Fluttermane, back to the action here, comes out here, and I feel like we just hard swap here. Simple hard swap into Ting Lu. Yeah, I like the Ting Lu here. Simple hard swap into Ting Lu, and then if I can burn, or I could howl. I could howl here. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna go for the burn. If I can get off, actually no, I'm gonna howl my team up. I'm gonna howl my team. I'm gonna howl my Ting Lu up here. A bit Ting Lu action here. I'm scared of Fluttermane. Fluttermane is dirty. It's nasty. It's gonna get some work done. But we're gonna pull out the special attack shop alongside with the assault vest with this Pokemon, which is gonna be really good. And Fluttermane goes for a Thunderbolt. Ooh, hopefully that's a choice spec Pokemon there. He's gonna go for Sacred Sword here. That's fine. That's fine. And now we howl for that attack boost. Beautiful, lovely, awesome, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We get the attack boost. Really like that. And then from here, heavy slamming you. And I feel like you have a chance of hard swapping into who though. I'm just going to throw a burn on this thing, just in case of hard swap. So, yeah, Heavy Slam's going to come out here. And then I'm just going to will o -Wisp you. Because usually a lot of these uh, Shen Pals are Sash. So, I'm going to burn it. If it stays in, it's just going to take a burn. And that's just protecting. That's fine. That's totally fine. I might Flare Blitz the next turn. Gleam's going to fly here. That's cool with me. I'm vested. And I would pretty much just get rid of Fluttermane, who was a huge problem. It was a huge problem. will o -Wisp is going to miss. Might just send the Flare Blitz in that slot next turn now. Just get rid of that. But the best part about where we're sitting is we just got rid of Fluttermane and we still have Hero Form Palafin in the back end. Like, it's just so good. Having it in the back end, usually when you play with the Palafin team, usually you're playing from behind because you have to waste that first turn swapping. But it's usually so worth it. So if you can get ahead, like, we're ahead right now. And they, what's it called? We're ahead, and we still have him in the back end, which is big. But they end up pulling out Don Dozo, and I'm just going to burn Don Dozo and go into a Ruination. Because, yeah, I, I figured a swap would come out here. So I'm going to burn him. I'm going to go for a Ruination here. And once I get the chance, I'm going to bring out Palf and just haze it up. Haze it up. Do, do, do. Haze it up. Do, do, do. He's going to take out one of my Pokemon. So he gets a choice. He either wants to be burned or he wants to be Ruination. And it's totally up to him. It is totally up to him, because we know he's going for a wave crash here. Wave crash. Oh no, you just EQ. So Arcanine, probably gone here, right? Arcanine gone, Ting Lu survives, so we'll be able to get off a of Ruination here. Which could be big time. 90% accuracy, and we miss. We, we miss that. That's lovely, just what I wanted, to miss that. I love missing moves and being frozen all day today. It's just my favorite thing with Pokemon. <laughs> but now we bring out my boy, Superhero Fish Dog. That's what we're going to start calling him, Superhero Fish Dog, because he's the man. And now we go for Ruination, and he's not going to see this one coming. We haze up. And we still have Fluttermane in the back end, which I really, really like, especially up against Shen Pao. I mean, Shen Pao has a Sucker Punch, which is kind of scary, and it's probably Focus Ash as well. But I kind of like this. So he ends up Terrasalizing. You're going to go into Straight Grass. We're just hoping you don't have Terra Blast, right? That could be scary. That could definitely be scary. That could definitely be, be, be a tad bit scary. And of course you have Terra Blast, so bye bye Palafin. And yeah, that's pretty much game set match, right? We're not sitting good here. Mm-mm, not one bit. Not one bit. Was not expecting that thing to rip into me with Grass Terra. Yeah, that wraps it up because I can't really do too much to this thing. I simply cannot. I needed my Haze there. I needed my Haze. I needed my Haze. Okay. So from here, obviously we're going to go for Shadow Ball. I don't see us winning this match, right? Tough, tough, tough play. Tough, tough, tough Terror type. The one thing that kind of countered me right there was my Palafin dying. I need a Palafin for that next turn. I need him to land at Haze. We would have been thriving. 
you would have been thriving. So from here, I guess we'll Heavy Slam really not going to do anything. Ruination will probably do more damage than anything. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to go into a Shadow Ball. But I think you just Terror Blast again, right? How much damage are you doing here? Yeah, nah, not enough. Give me the th defense drop. EQ is going to fly here. Both my Pokemon should be able to eat that. We do a Ruination Lane, so Shadow Ball should KO next turn. Shadow Ball should KO. Shadow Ball should KO. And can we do anything from here? Mm, bum, bum, bum. I still have Terra. I should have Terrasalized last turn, but I'm going to save my Terra. I'm going to save it right now for a sneak attack. And I feel like we just Heavy Slam into Tatsu or we Stomp and Tantrum. I'm going to Stomp and Tantrum into the Tatsu slot. Because after Shadow Ball, it's going to come out of here. It's going to deal some damage. Shadow Ball flying. It should KO. It should. It does. So Don Dozo, go. Get on out my face. Sucker Punch, I'm terrified of. I'm honest to God terrified of it. And Stomp and Tantrum flies. Oh. 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 You're one-shotting. That Howl boost really helped it out. You're one-shotting. That's big. We might win this. We might win this. All right. Shen Palski comes out here. Shen Palski comes out here. Now, the problem is it's definitely Sash, so I have to make a Protect play. I'm going to Terrasalize you, just in case you're going for an Ice Spinner into me, right? So straight Grass going to be my play. Ah, but I would still be super effective Ice. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Terrasalizing is our play here. I really don't see it being our play. I think just going here and a Protect is our play. Because I think Sucker Punch is going to come out into Fluttermane, right? Or some sort of attack coming into Fluttermane. What a call. There's the dub. There is the W. Because I'm guessing this thing is Sash. I can't believe we won this match. Super surprised. And there's the Sash. You have no double hitting moves. Now we just Gleam. We just Heavy Slam. And your boy has done it again. Yo, I've played so good in today's video. So good. Give me a like. Give me a like. Drop me a like. If, you, if you're here this long, you gotta, you gotta be dropping a like on the video. The Sacred Sword comes out here. Take it out. My boy, we end up not using a Strasilization, and that is just game, set, match. And that is just game, set, match. So as I'm going to fly here, later, Shen Pao. Wow, I cannot believe we won that battle. Played from the front until Don Dozo KO'd me, but then we it looked bad for us. And we end up making a comeback, going 3-0, and grab ourselves a perfect record. What a set of matches for today's video. Ended up going 3-0 and showcasing King Gambit in Series 3. I absolutely love this team. King Lou was our only Legends of Ruin Pokemon, and I absolutely rocked out with him. That was probably the best I ever played with Ting Lu. We also had the Fluttermain doing some work, and who else did we have on that team? I don't know why I can't think of it, but my game ended up, uh, I ended up hitting the home button and canceling out, so I don't have the rental team anymore. So I can't really, I don't have it in front of me anymore. But again, this team was absolutely amazing. Went 3-0 and just crushed the rank ladder today. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.